It's coming back. Don't panic. Oh, the big tail wag. You've been gone so long. You've been gone so long. What are you talking? Oh my goodness. Hold up. Just arrived. This little boy has been so good. Besides, wanting to sit on my lap on the way down. And we've got a lovely spot. I'll go and show you later on. I'm just waiting to get go to some water. Last time we stayed, we were just over there, across there. This is much better because there's like no one behind us. Got a little fire pit and everything. But reception's already closed, so we can't get any wood for tonight. <laughs> Plus, it's pretty warm. We don't really want a fire tonight, but maybe tomorrow night if it's not raining. So pretty. We're all settled now. Kevin set up the the dog fence. It turns out nice, easy. Um, set up makes it a bit more complicated, doesn't it? Like the dog. <laughs> You're worth it, Coda. Is he really? What is that thing? Go just chasing it, whatever it is. Anyway, we're having. Oh, oh really? No. I should go shut the door then. Still flying around. I've got. Um, well, it's reared, I think, up in the thing if we need something. Oh, it's such a gorgeous night. Look at this. How nice. This is better than sitting at home watching the TV, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, I think so. Kevin probably doesn't. <laughs> it's a gorgeous no, night. I no, just got dinner. I've got what's rips sweet potato bowl. I can link this one. It's pretty easy. I don't make the dressing. We just use the uh, mayonnaise, vegan a's. Just, nice, but being different. It's nice. Yeah, it's just lovely here. So it's a sweet potato, mango, black beans, and on a bit of lettuce. And Kevin's got avocado because the original recipe does call for avocado, but I'm not really that worried about it. But yes, it's a beautiful night. Just going for a little walk up to the toilet. Yeah. Kevin had to come because Coda wanted to come. <laughs> it's a beautiful night. Go to the toilet. You can't see an ambient or tinted. Kevin didn't it somewhere. <laughs> Come on, go to it, to it. It's pretty time before the rain. I've already started and just fill a spot. It's super hard to go to the toilet when there's so many good smells. <laughs> so off his lead for the moment. Just try and get him to go. Come on, can you go to the toilet? 
No, too much to sniff. Too many smells. Out of the local cockatoos. It's up the road there. finally let me know he wanted to go back out again and went did a wee and I had a fail mum moment because it was raining and I forgot <laughs> to wipe his feet when he came in there's some good little cute paw prints there though <laughs> so breakfast today is some spaghetti on toast let's sit at the table yeah Kevin's got his phone <laughs> I was replying oh, I wasn't I was reading a text message or any day out there so I'll put his little bit under the table for during the day because he'd been lying under there anyway. He was sleeping until Kevin spoke to him and woke him up. <laughs> Probably a nice little safety spot, I guess, like if you've got a crate for a puppy. Mm. He's settling down now. He just gets a bit anxious when he goes away. But he settles down well. Just going for a walk into town. So it's a caravan park that way. It's not raining. We haven't had a lot of rain this today. Just a bit of a drizzle, but you can see the motorhome overcast. Oh yeah, you can see it there. Straight behind the pole at the moment. My hands full. Of camera in one hand and a puppy in the other. We stayed here about a year ago in Kangaroo Valley. It's a very old town for Australia. And the police station, which is here, is just gorgeous. Look at that for a police station. Well, that's a courthouse. Well, that's a police station, I think now. It used to be a courthouse. It's not a gorgeous. <laughs> Kevin's gone into the fudge shop. I have lollies as well. To get me a bottle of water. I don't like buying plastic bottles of water, but I just realized I don't have a drink bottle in the motorhome. And I get dry a lot. Dry throat a lot, so. I need a drink. We're booked into the pub there for lunch tomorrow. We're going to sit outside in the beer garden, I think it's called.
So Kevin had his pie for lunch. I'm just having corn chowder and a slice of bread. out for another little walk around there's quite a few tents and this is a tent area it's such a pretty pretty spot we're gonna go and see if we can see the animals some fire supplies so we're going to light our fire tonight or now actually <laughs> it's 4 30. a nice little walk around Kevin's got our fire going he's going to get the drone actually and fly the drone now
looks like Dad was too slow to, to dinner, so Coda's going to be my dinner guest tonight. Coda Bear. I've got jamas on. Cute. We're going to dine together. Maybe they use dinner if we sat at the table. If we sat at the table. What are you doing? <laughs> so I've got pumpkin pasta bake tonight. <laughs> Daddy was too slow to get here, wasn't he? Do you want a drink? For a joke, I put his dinner up at the table, but he hasn't ever eaten any of it. <laughs> But it looks like he was going to eat his dinner at the table. He's just resting his head on the table. He hasn't eaten much. I put potatoes in there. He's eaten all his potatoes, except for one or two that he's missed. Mr. Potato. He's <laughs> having Kevin's leftovers now. He doesn't know he's allowed to eat it off the table. No, he's a good boy. What a pampered poochie you are, Kim Coda. Is it too hot for you? <laughs> Don't burn your dinner. see the animals, had breakfast, had a shower and just had a nice easy morning. <laughs> nice to see a bit of blue sky today. Some duckies in there. And the duckies. The duckies are coming to see what we've got food for them. We don't. Well, there's a horse back there. I don't know where the um, llamas are at the moment. There's a four. Just going for a little walk around with Kodo. And this could be all windy, and you might not even hear what I'm saying because it's a bit breezy down here. And I bought my phone rather than the camera. So, anyway. We've got lunch at the pub in a couple of hours, so I'm just going to be spending the time reading after I take him for a walk, and yeah, just to be warm later on this afternoon, so I'm in a single type of game, so it should be a nice day, but it's rather windy at this spot. just getting ready to head up back into town for our lunch and Kevin was searching for his lost sock on the bed and he found my bra the one that I lost like months ago obviously in late June I kept it as July. a <laughs> he found my bra because I found a bra on your channel or the lost bras channel <laughs> don't you hear Kevin in the background well, I actually thought it might have been in here and I came in here and looked and I couldn't find it, it was buried what behind the bed or something down the back of the bed Anyway, it, and I was saying, thinking the other day, it's odd that that bra never turned up. Anyway, it's turned up now. <laughs> I don't know if I've got Kevin pulling faces on the camera. Okay. We're going for lunch. You don't need to eat a lolly. What a rustle on the camera. Anyway, Kevin's ready. What do I do with this? I only this had stuff. one coffee today. You're going to have two. You've got your spare one out. So Kevin, come put the awning out for me. I've been sitting out here in the shade reading. I've nearly finished my book. So heading back into town again. Blue skies today, which is nice. And Kona, I just ran the back of the the pub, waiting 
I've been waiting that way, little bear. Someone patted him on the way here and he was like freaked out who patted him. I didn't see who patted him. <laughs> Where's our view at lunch? Very nice. Okay, just, just a bit upset because Kevin's gone inside. Oh, it's got nice trees around. Oh, I've meant to you the mask. I got really dog. <laughs> Someone's happy now because Dad's back. I think your back. dinner's already up. I saw it when I walked past. Oh, okay. I'm having a nice salad. Poor Coda. Daddy had to go away again to pick up our food. It was already ready. Poor little bear. Hello, tip me tip for you. Oh, yours is huge, so I've got the Tex Mix salad. What you do I don't know what Kevin got. I didn't bring a container for your leftovers. You should have. Mmm. All my containers are at home. Not used to eating out. Too much straw though. Are you right, Coda Bear? You can sit up on the chair if you want. Well, we are back from our lunch. As you can tell, I'm back outside. I've nearly finished my book, so I'm gonna be finishing my book. Enjoying the nice breeze and the nice scene behind me there. Well, just I can sort of. This is my view. I'm kind of facing facing this way, but I can't look out that way. So my lunch is quite nice. I did luckily enough get a salad on the side. Oh, you got your ball, Coda. I told him to go get his ball. And he did. Where is it now? Get your ball, ball. Because I can sort of throw it for him a little bit just to play catch rather than fetch uh, so you might like luckily I got that dressing on the side because I didn't really like it so but I enjoyed the salad I just crunched up the corn chips and had them sort of throughout it to get a bit of flavor Kevin enjoyed his chicken snitchel Coda enjoyed plenty of tidbits and yeah it's funny just as we going before we left I turned around and I saw our old it's a very old family friend. She used to live across from like my I wouldn't phrase it. The first home when we moved to Wollongong. When we were going to uni and whatnot. And we came when I first got married, the home we lived in there in Fig Tree, she lived like across the valley. And it was a very good friend of mum's for a long time. And they still are, they still see each other from time to time. That was funny, she was well they were there with their kids who were here. Yeah, so I've known them for since the early 90s probably <laughs> oh that's crazy yeah definitely have yeah Jenny and Paul came to my, our wedding in 92 so I've known them for a very very long time anyway I'm gonna continue on with my book there's Mr. Coda Beer in the doorway he likes that little spot I thought look we've got the door but there's not too many flies around luckily and you can just like, sit in the step there or or we can come down we just went to get a drink, I think. Where'd your ball go? Where's the ball ball? Did you try and give it to me? Where's the ball, Coda? I see it. It's under me. What can we do with this ball? We can just play fetch. Oh. Want to catch? Oh, good boy. Well, that might not be very exciting for you. He's used to be throwing the ball, but... Do you want me to throw it again? Oh, I'll take this little yes, because he's dropping it. Right, over there. <laughs> if it doesn't bounce out, we'll be right. I don't, okay, it's not shut out here either. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. Oh, he's, he's given up. He said, that is not a fun game here, Mum. That's not fun. Not enough room to run and catch the ball. And he's possibly still hot from the walk back. <laughs> he was very good, though, at lunch. He was excellent. So this, what you can see there is actually the other side of the escarpment to what we could normally see. We come up over that to get to Kangaroo Valley, which is pretty cool. It's a really nice evening.
Coda was having some dinner. <laughs> He's so itchy, I have to give him a bath when we get home. It's not quite the white dog he was before we came away. Because as you can see, there's a lot of dirt on our little patch here. It's been a really nice afternoon. Kevin's flown the drone, as you saw, and I've just been sitting outside reading my Kindle and playing with Coda. I took him just over there and we played fetch for a little bit. What else have we done? Hmm. Not sure we went for a little walk up to try and see the cows, but couldn't get very close to them, so I have to rely on Kevin's drone footage and my zoomed in. We're just doing make your own taco wraps tonight <laughs> for dinner.